In this video, I'm going to tell you the story of how I went from what I was before to what I was now in 30 days. This started because I'm a personal trainer. I help people lose weight, but I've always grown up skinny and I've never had the chance to really understand what it felt like to be fat. So I decided I wanted to put myself in their shoes. I wanted to feel what it felt like to be fat. In order to do that, I flew to China, ate three meals a day, didn't exercise at all, and believe it or not, I got fat. As a result of being fat, I felt more uncomfortable, less confident. I feel like I have to hide myself. My pants no longer fit me. Normally, I wear a size S, but the size S couldn't fit my waist anymore. And guess what? The pants, I couldn't go up in size because if I went up in size, they'd be way too long for me. So I had to wear the size S very tightly crammed against my skin. That was the worst feeling. When I couldn't take it anymore, I knew I had to make a change. I was in Zhoujiang. In Zhoujiang, I went to the hotel and I said, hey, 哪里有健身房? Which means, where's the gym? He says, upstairs, level seven. When I went there, there was only a washing machine, a treadmill that wasn't plugged in, and a bike. I wanted to make the most use of my time, so I put all my laundry in the washing machine, turn on the treadmill. It didn't work. I guess bike it is. I rode the bike for 45 minutes that day. Upon riding that bike, I felt one thing. All I want to do is fit back in my pants and lose the fat on my tummy. For the next three days in China, I rode for every single day, 45 minutes on a medium setting. Then I flew back to Australia. When I was back in Australia, I noticed one thing and it really started to bother me. It was that my knee, my hips and my calves they felt very uncomfortable. It made me unable to continue riding the bike every single day. And when that happened, I was very defeated. I had to find a solution. My solution was this, a massage gun. I use a massage gun to loosen up my shoulder before I do bench press because I know how tight it is, but I didn't know I could use it on my legs. So I tried it on my shin, my calf, my quads, hamstrings, and glutes. 10 minutes every time before I start riding, I use the massage gun. When I do this, I feel so much better. For the next 15 days, I didn't miss a single day of cardio. I rode for 10 days in a row, nonstop, until I decided I wanna try something new. And so I looked over at the stair machine and I looked at the statistics of how much calories it can burn in 30 minutes. And that stair machine goes hard. You can burn upwards of 600 plus calories, per whereas on a bike, it's quite limited. And I like variety. So I decided, let's try it. But I've always had this one fear holding me back. I don't know how a stair machine works. It feels uncomfortable. I don't want to be awkward. I don't want to be embarrassing at the gym. So I took a baby step. I got on board, I tapped start, and all it was was just stairs, one at a time. So I walked up the stairs, non-stop for the next 30 minutes that day. And I noticed one thing, I was sweating so much. After that, I felt incredible. And for the next remaining half of the 30 days, I just kept going. Until I realized I need to take a break. I'm tired. I can't do 10 days in a row of cycling. I'm gonna break it up. So I broke it up into four days. Cycle, stairs, cycle, stairs, rest, and then repeat. And then I looked at my diet. I can no longer eat three meals a day. That's gonna get me too big and bulky. I need to take it down. So I took it down from three meals a day to two meals a day. And after that, this is my final result in 30 days. I'm going to continue this for the next 30 days and show you the progress of 60 days weight loss journey.